Are you thinking about getting a low-cost printer? Well, here's two good ones. This is the Creality CR10 Mini, just under $300. This is their new Ender 3, just under $200. I'm going to talk about the differences and which one I recommend on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. And they get special access to ChepClub.com. So join us. So the first major difference is this is just under $300. $289.99 through the link in the description below is through banggood.com. And that is shipped from a U.S. warehouse, which means you can get it in like five days. This exact machine I bought. This one was donated to the channel by Banggood for me to do a review. This came out of China. Right now it's $179.99 through the link in the description below. But that comes out of China and they're sold out. So what you're doing is actually a pre-sale you're buying ahead of time. Because normally it was $199.99 at their site. The Ender 3 is smaller. It's got a 220 by 220 by 220 tall build area. Where the CR10 Mini has a 300 millimeter by 220 by 300 millimeter. So it's wider and taller. A lot more build area. Another difference, this one is a kit. I mean literally a kit. There's a lot of pieces that have to be put together. And when you do, there's a lot of things you have to adjust. I actually had to take this apart twice to fix some things and I still got a little bit of a rocking. There's a problem with these. If you don't put it together exactly right, you can get some twisting in the frame. I've got it printing really good. I've got everything squared up as best I could. I still got a little bit of rocking. That's a kit. A kit you're going to tweak, you're going to play with. If you like to do that and save $100, by all means, this is the kit for you. The CR10 Mini is a little different. It's mostly assembled. There's four bolts to bolt the top to the bottom and then a side bracket. And then connect the wires and you're ready to start printing. It took me about 15 minutes to put together the CR10 Mini. It took me about an hour to put together the Ender 3. One other major difference between these two is the heated bed. They're both 220 watts, but this one has the same type of CR10, the full-size CR10 connection, where it's two wires soldered to the bed and then a separate wire for the temperature sensor. They do have strain relief on here. I don't think it's the best, but it's something that someone designed and 3D printed and they've copied it and put it on this machine. Where this one, the CR10 Mini, is unique amongst the CR10s, it's got a solid connector with two solder joints per wire. So two for positive, two for negative, and two for the temperature sensor. Because the temperature sensor wiring is actually built into the circuit board for the bed. So this makes it much more reliable than this. Another feature that some people like or don't like is the electronics. The electronics are separate in a separate box for this guy, the CR10 Mini, where the Ender 3 has the power supply exposed right here on the side. It does have a fuse and everything, which is good. The electronics are built into the base. Now, this makes it completely portable, so you can just pick it up and go. Where the CR10 Mini, I actually have to take the power supply wrap the wires around, bring it on to the front like this and then I can carry it off. Now you'll notice I don't have the spool holder on here. I instead put it on the back and I'll show you how to put it there and it works so much better and that frees up the electronics. I can put a box over this and not put the box over the electronics. Electronics don't like heat so keeping that separate is an advantage. Where this one I put a box over and try to print ABS, I'm heating the electronics. That's not a good thing for reliability. The Ender 3 has a spool holder mount on top of the machine. This is fine, but it's a little bit short. On the CR10 Mini, they suggest you put it on top of the power supply. But there's a little trick. You drill out the holes in the bracket and then use the spare bolts and T-nuts that they include in the box for the CR10 Mini. And you can do this. You use two of the T-nuts as spacers and then two on the bottom to connect. And then you can mount the spool holder right at the back of the machine. It works really, really well. I use that on my fully modified machine that's part of my print farm. Another difference is the bed material. They both have an aluminum bed, but the Ender 3 has a build tech material on top. It seems to work really well. 
where the CR-10 has a glass top that you can actually remove. I prefer the glass, a little glue on glass and you get a nice smooth finish. But if you don't want that, you can unclip it, take it off, and then you can put build tech material on top of the aluminum bed. So you have two options, you just have to buy the build tech. Like I said, I prefer the glass, it works well for me. Another potential issue I found with the Ender 3 is the cabling is not long enough. When the beam was all the way to the top, it pulled the wires tight and then the bed would rub against it. Now, you can strap this down to the side, but then I found that made the wires even tighter and limited the movement of the carriage. So, the wires frankly just aren't long enough. They both use a micro SD card, they come with sample files, and I printed them out. This is the first print on the Ender 3, it's a little dog. And it actually printed quite good. I'm impressed with how smooth it is. Now there's a little bit of ghosting on it, but it's a, still a very good print. But I really like to compare apples to apples. And it comes with a sample set of filament in a little bag. Not nearly enough to do anything. I don't even know if this is enough to print the dog. So what I did is used a spool, which is the same spool that comes with the CR-10 Mini. You get an actual spool of filament, which is, I don't know, it's not a full spool, but it's a lot more than the little sample you get here. So you can actually print some stuff. So the first print I ever did on the CR-10 Mini was this guy right here, the, the cat. And this is a beautiful print. Very smooth. I got a little bit of ghosting on the front, but overall this thing almost looks injected molded. So I used that same filament and printed it on the Ender 3. And I'll show you a close-up of these guys. This is a very good print, but not nearly as good as this one. It's a little bit rougher, a little bit uh, crisper on the edges. So I could improve some things, maybe for you know settings and stuff to slice it. But these are both the same G-code that came from Creality, the same one that's on here. It printed in the center of the bed, it printed slightly offset on this one because of the smaller bed. But overall I would say in my experience, the CR-10 Mini out of the box printed better than the Ender 3. The fact is, either one of these is a very good printer for the price. For under $300 you are getting an incredible set of equipment. The hot end, I love the way it works. It's a Bowden setup with a very good extruder. And frankly, it's just a very solid printer in both cases. Even with this little bit of wobbliness, you put something underneath there, it's fine. But between the two, I personally would spend the extra $100 and get the bigger build area, get the solid frame, get a machine that's really ready to go out of the box. And I just think there's more you could do with this than you can with the Ender 3. If you're limited in a budget, you can only afford $200, this is a far better choice than a lot of the $200 printers out there. So I'm not knocking it at all. I think it's a good printer. I personally don't like the exposed power supply like this. I want it inside a metal box. But overall, it's fine, it's safe, I'm sure it's grounded, and it's screwed to the frame, so the whole frame is grounded. But I just like this printer better, and if I had to recommend something to a friend, family member, someone getting started, I would say save the extra $100, get a CR-10 Mini. It's well worth the extra $100. I use this printer in a lot of the project videos that are popping up right over here. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon gets you access to Check Club where I have more information and a lot of the files that I do on Filament Friday. And if nothing else, click on that Check logo and subscribe. It really helps the channel. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.